Happy day, I'm good. Happy day, I'm good. It is often said that people look like their pets. And I feel like that's kind of the truth in a way. Like I had ash blonde hair my whole life and I had Twinkie. Now my hair is black and I've got Angie. But I've had many pets that I feel don't really look like me. I've had a salamander. I've had budgies. I've had... I've had a frog. I've had an angelfish. That being said, I feel like I can guess someone's aura. I feel like I can guess what kind of pet a person has. So that is the name of the game today. We are watching Match the Pet to the Owner, and we're gonna play along. Do you wanna play along? Take that as a no. This is by Cut. We asked people to match pets to their owners. You're gonna match pet to person. <laughs> okay, it's not that funny, but go ahead. I worked a year at a veterinary clinic that saw dogs and cats and exotics. Okay, okay, so that guy's actually an animal person. People always say they're animal people, but then it's like, what have you done with animals? And it's like, my aunt had a cat. Any pets you're afraid of? I haven't really encountered that many wild animals. Will I regret signing a liability waiver? Okay, so I'm really afraid of tarantulas, and if I was here, I would be like, listen, okay, so we need to write something into the contract. If there is a tarantula here, I'm going to scream. And if there's cockroaches, because I've had cockroaches before in my hands, and we all know how that went. Oh my god! Ah! What the ah! fuck? Do people look like their pets? Sometimes I could spot a rat owner, probably in a crowd. They do tend This guy's to shower very less. judgmental. He's literally saying that people who own rats look like they don't shower as much. Like poor Robert IDK. I can't imagine the guy owns rats. This guy right here wouldn't like you. They're a little creepy. Snake people are a little creepy, he says. Okay, the people are coming in. Beanie guy is definitely giving me some exotic pet vibes. What is it because he's Asian? Why? He just looks like a normal guy to me. I don't really understand like this guy's like petometer. What does your shirt say? Weird. Okay, she owns a tarantula for sure. <laughs> We're judgmental in different ways. She might got a snake at home. Oh, okay. He thinks she has a snake. I think she has a tarantula. Come on, Nuggie. A goat? What kind of person owns a goat? Someone who lives on a farm? He looks most like a farmer. No, he doesn't. This guy does not look like a farmer. Do not let the flannel fool you. Like based on the hair and like the side cut and like the, the little plugs that he's got going on. Like this is, this is an inner city hipster, in my opinion. This guy does not own a goat, no way. I don't want to blow my load on this dude. What? I don't want to waste it. <laughs> Can we cut out the low <laughs> No, we can't cut that. I want to say her, because she's the least likely. What makes you think I'm the least likely to own a goat? Because I think you're very pretty. Don't you guys know that Audrey Hepburn owned a deer? Like a little fawn? And like, they're kind of the same. Like, they, they kind of have like the same face and the same vibe. If I was going to guess who owns this goat... I don't know. Maybe her? Just because the rest of them, I feel like they wouldn't want to get their clothes goaty. Her. Okay, Very that's a good guess. Reached down and petted the goat. These people are all trying to pretend that they own this goat. So the person Ooh, in the middle okay. is like, pet the goat, the kiss, kiss the goat. Okay, so my girl that I've guessed, she went for the head kiss. You don't do that if it's not your pet goat. Maybe you went to a petting zoo and you saw a goat and you said, mom, dad, that's what I want. And here we are. This is Nugget's owner. 100%, I agree. <laughs> not her. What are you talking oh. about? I think you're her mom. Nugget's laying some nuggets. Yeah. Come on. Oh no, the goat pooped. Oh. <gasps> a is hedgehog. This, uh, a Sonic? this is a pretty well socialized hedgehog, I think, because I only ever met one that was out of its role. How cute. You don't want to hold us? I don't like rodents, and I think this is one of them. Listen, even though I think, I'm pretty sure they're in the same family, you can't count them as the same family. Wait, isn't a skunk a ro in the rodent family? Weasel. Skunks are in the weasel family, but that doesn't make them weasels. It makes them the cutest, most amazing things in the history of mankind. Is he for sale? It's actually illegal to have them in the But I like to break the law. Hedgehogs have such a positive, cute energy. I think somebody very bright and kind owns this animal. What kind of person owns a rodent? A hipster. I'm gonna go with you. Okay, so the person who owns this hedgehog, this is not a bad guess. I'm inclined to go with her. Does he seem confident? Well, that is definitely hers. No hesitation. True. He oh, wait, 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 wait. Did this blonde girl take it without gloves? Well, that is definitely hers. Okay, yeah, that's hers for sure. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm going with her too. I'm abandoning my pick. This is Teddy's owner. No, that absolutely is a not. Big pig. This is a cutie. A pig? Okay, a pig owner. This is definitely not somebody's first pet. Okay, 
Who owns the pig? Who owns the pig? Who in this audience is maybe likely to be like, oh, Miley Cyrus got a pig. I'm gonna get a pig too. Her? Do you eat bacon? Whoa, that's not him. <laughs> oh, do bacon? I love bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? Good question. Oh Wait, all of these guys eat bacon and they all have a pig? Stop. Will you pick up what we're uh, I will, yes. Okay, there was way too much hesitation in that, but maybe he's like putting on an act. <laughs> Stop, he doesn't even know how to put it down. That is not his pig. And if it is his pig, somebody take the pig away. That's his pig. <laughs> no, it's not his pig. Take it away from me. If I'm gonna like really stereotype, when I worked in a vet clinic, every bird owner I met was a female. Good feathers. Good Very feathers. Calm. Especially surrounded by a pig and a goat. Nah, nah, this is his bird. This guy writes poetry and thinks about the larger issues in life and has tea time and splits a sugar cube with this bird. What's scaring you? I think having the goat eat my shoe with the <laughs> bird on my finger. I'm gonna pass the bird off, see how well you handle it. Smart. That's not that her was bird. Good. No way. Oh, that is definitely his parrot. He yeah, like a, I knew it. Pokemon trainer right now. Oh, yikes. Oh! <laughs> you guys have a paramedic on set? What's this? Oh, geez. Oh, a snake. Okay, it's hers. It's hers. 100% hers. Like, that is her snake. This guy doesn't strike me as a reptile guy, and I can't quite put my finger on why. This guy strikes me as like he lives in a small apartment, like a small, like hip, trendy apartment, and there's just not enough room for a snake. Or it could be her snake. I'm just enjoying my Britney It's a beautiful right snake. Now. He's strong. <laughs> they got a want him on me. I don't like holding snakes either because they are so, so strong. Like they're basically pure muscle and when they wrap around you, it's like, it's so intense. My friends when I was younger had a boa, like a boa constrictor. And I just can't, I just can't. Like, do you know how those things get their prey? They squeeze them. I don't want to hold it. Yeah, no, like oh, yeah. ooh, ooh. Who do you think owns them? I'm sorry, but we're gonna be holding snakes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I wouldn't say weirdos. One of my friends owned a snake and she was weird. Not like weird to the point where it was concerning. What is your t-shirt say? Weird. Oh, I had to come back on stage. Yeah, that's my guess too. Can you please take the snake too? <laughs> snake owners are off beat. They're maybe like the weirdos of the world. Okay, stop saying reptile owners are weird. Like I think they're weird, but not in like a bad way. I just think that they're like different. They definitely have to be comfortable in gross situations because you're feeding them fetuses. True, true. The worst part of my friend owning a snake was the feeding because it only ate live food. I couldn't live like that. So with that being said, you. <laughs> him? Okay, no. no. I do not I peg him as a snake owner. Right now. 100% this guy's a gamer who lives in like a trendy loft. This guy does not own a snake, absolutely not wrong. What, wait, this guy gave her the bird? The only thing this guy's been right about is the goat. Like he's wrong about the hedgehog too. Not all gamers are snake owners, but all snake owners are gamers. Would you like the snake? Absolutely. Okay, this is a bearded dragon. Do you feel comfortable holding the bearded oh, dragon? Oh jeez. No. I got bit by one once. You could get bit by a bearded dragon. I'm never holding one again. If you're gonna transition from just being a dog owner or a cat owner, they're a pretty easy next step because they're like the chillest of reptiles. So this could be their first exotic pet. Come hither. What Hogwarts house are you? Slytherin, obviously. Okay, and that's hers. This seems like a very edgy pet and she looks very edgy. Yeah. Wait, this girl gave him the bird? What is going on? Uh, who did Abdul guess correctly? Whoa, 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 Okay, so we're looking at who guessed who correctly. So I, yeah, I put the snake with her. I did not put the pig with him. I'm wrong about that. I did put the, did I put the hedgehog with her? I definitely put the bird with him. Is the goat hers? Yes! That is two. Yes! Oh, oh, she, she, yeah, she kind of, she kind of flopped. Like this is, this is a flop for her, but that's okay. Everybody switch to your red animal. <laughs> I'm so wrong about this. He plays Resident Evil and hangs out in his trendy loft with his pig? Oh boy. I mean, other than this guy, you really can guess like whose pet is what by what they own. This is Hades. Hades? Yep. Isn't that the other Great god name. of the hell? Underworld. Underworld, <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. I think the shirt gave it away. Do you think of me as a weirdo? Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> oh my gosh! He's actually one of the coolest snakes that I've ever yeah. met. He's very chill, so. He tried to kill me, but he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> cuddles. He doesn't kill. Cuddles. cuddles. Oh my, okay, I don't know if you can say that snakes cuddle, but thank you. Like, it's a reptile. Let's chill a little bit. I don't like when people look at their snakes, they're like, oh, my snake really likes this music. I think your snake likes sunlight and eating things and sleeping. And I think that it enjoys the natural pleasures of life, but not in like an anthropomorphized, like human way. Do you think pigs are smarter than dogs? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I do think that pigs do enjoy things in a more like relatable to us way. He knows how to open the sliding glass door, potty trained in a week. He doesn't like to be outside. Kind of a diva for a pig, but uh, he has his own bed, I guess. He's kind of taken over mine. That's really interesting that the pig is completely potty trained. Like this is basically like another option if you want a dog. But then I feel like it'd be really hard to take this guy for a walk. I feel like you'd get a lot of dogs barking at your poor pig. Her name is Boomy. She doesn't bite. She's super, super chill and nice. Oh, she seems I nice. I don't like her. <laughs> it's funny how the best kind of reptile you can get is one that is very chill. Like all of the reptile owners like the very chill ones. And that's what I would want too. I would want one that I could just like hold and it's just happy all the time. And we can just lay there under the sun together. Oh gosh. <laughs> You should just hang there while I type and like yeah. take meetings. It's mm -hmm. very, very exciting. Yeah. You feel, you feel I good. I feel, is, is she licking me? <laughs> she might. Oh, okay. Might be. She likes oh. to like smell. <laughs> How are you not getting prickled? My hands have kind of gained calluses. That's what I was thinking. Like when she took it right out of the bag without hands, like she kind of like, she really set the precedent for like, okay, this is definitely her hedgehog. It can't be anybody else's. Now if you want to try and brush yeah. her, just like lay your finger gently over the top. She might curl up. Oh. Hey! Hedgehog didn't expect that. This is my bird. Does uh, she poop on your shoulder? Uh, sometimes, but she's potty trained. Oh, I oh, didn't I don't know you could potty train potty a bird. Train a bird. Yeah. yeah, we'll bring out the, uh, the trash can. Oh! Sorry. This guy knows his bird well. Uh, this guy was like, yep, my bird's gonna, my bird's gonna crap one sec. All right, nice. Uh, All right, I, I need to hear the story about this goat. We had nugget for it. Since she was born, um, so she's a year and a half. Actually, your comment about the petting zoo thing, you like totally nailed it, so I was trying not to laugh. Oh! <laughs> that's literally what happened. I grew up in a suburb and the petting I've been zoo obsessed got you. with goats. Did you name her Nugget because she pooped a lot? No. Okay. You know, she was a runt, so she was really small. I have two goats, but both of them were runt goats. <laughs> Are they like siblings? They have the same daddy. Oh. Kate, shut up. Like, stop asking these questions. Where do you live? Like, let's ask the important questions. Let's ask about logistics. How was that, Winston? Bro! These three, like, first of all, only one of them made really good guesses, and then when they all got to, like, meet and greet the pets and stuff, like, they didn't ask any questions that, like, I would have wanted to know. I love animals, so I was excited to interact with all of them. I have uh, interviews for vet school in a month, so I thought, like, if I nailed this, it'd be, like, a really good sign. This guy looks like a grinder, like, from the way he talks. Like, this guy looks like he's been studying for so long that he's just like, yeah, I really love animals. An interview soon. Oh, that was great. Yeah. Easier than I thought it would be. Are you gonna go get a pet? Yes. What are you gonna get? A corgi. A corgi? Aww. Well, that was match the pet to the owner. I, that was like surprisingly fun. I really feel like people look like their pets in a way. Remember that scene in 101 Dalmatians where like Pongo's looking out the window and like like every girl who was walking with her dog, like they, they kind of looked like their dogs. I really feel like that's like a real life thing. And sometimes I see someone who doesn't match their animal and I'm like, that's a strange pair. Are you walking your significant other's animal? I don't know, maybe that's just me being weird and like trying to categorize the world to make more sense out of it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video though. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>